Landing on an aircraft carrier is always a dangerous task, and even more so when things don't go according to plan. During a test flight, Captain George Duncan was piloting an F9F5 Panther when the aircraft dropped below the correct approach line, striking the edge of the flight deck and breaking in half. It seemed like a fatal accident, but thanks to the quick response of the flight deck crew, he was pulled out alive and the fire was swiftly extinguished. Incredibly, just six months later, Captain Duncan was back to flying and eventually pursued a career as a lawyer. Today, standard operating procedures require pilots to apply full throttle upon touchdown if they catch one of the three or four arresting wires. The aircraft comes to a complete stop. Otherwise, the extra power allows them to continue down the angle flight deck and take off again. This maneuver is known as a bolter, and the aircraft will then circle around for another landing attempt. However, early aircraft carriers had a flat-top design, meaning planes landed directly in front of parked aircraft with very little room for error. To mitigate the risks, emergency flight deck barriers were installed at the end of the landing area. These barriers, about three feet tall, were lowered after each successful landing, so the aircraft could be moved to the parking area. If something went wrong, such as a broken tail hook, the barriers were crucial in preventing crashes into the crew or parked planes. While they helped reduce accidents, they often resulted in significant damage to aircraft and, at times, even fires. The flight deck crew was also at risk as the tension wires could snap and cause injuries. Despite these precautions, barrier wires were not always enough to stop an aircraft completely, and a better solution was needed. In one example, a pilot was successfully rescued by helicopter after a failed arrestment. Over time, barrier wires were replaced with barricade netting, which functioned similarly to a tennis net. The modern barricade emergency recovery system includes multiple engagement straps standing approximately 20 feet high. As an aircraft enters a barricade, release straps break, and engagement straps catch the aircraft, transferring the load to the barricade engine below the deck via a purchase cable. The barricade is usually stowed away and is only rigged in emergencies, such as when a tail hook or landing gear malfunctions. A well-trained crew can set up the barricade in under three minutes. Once the aircraft is arrested, the webbing and deck cables are discarded. Pilots rely on precise communication from the crew during these landings, making quick adjustments in real time to ensure a safe stop. While barricade arrestments are rare, they still happen occasionally, and all American aircraft carriers are equipped with them. These landings are tough on pilots and often cause significant damage to the aircraft, but they are far better than the alternative. Over the years, barricades have saved countless lives, making them an invaluable part of carrier operations. Though no one hopes to need them, when the moment comes, having a barricade in place can mean the difference between disaster and survival.